part of this. First off, let's double click Go to go into the form scripting. Now, type as I do, uh, sorry, do as I do, and type web browser 1. Wait for it to load because sometimes it messes up while you're typing. Just give it a second. Okay, so here. Okay, so web browser 1 dot navigate and then brackets text box yeah did I spell that right text box one dot text and then close brackets so that's your go button that's done now go back to the form one dot vb tab over here and let's double click the home button so let's do web browser one dot go home now this will actually there you go web browser one dot go home this will actually bring you to your internet or firefox basically whatever is your default browsers home page now i forget the code to do your manual home page but in another tutorial i'll show you how to do that in more detail stop we're just going to do double click that it's going to be very simple web browser one dot stop okay so that's done hit enter or click away whatever you want to do forward is really simple it's web browser one one dot go forward hit enter so you have those two little brackets I'm not sure what their meaning is yet but figure out soon and back is in the same as web brow um, forward you just do web browser one dot go back hit enter that's good and remember that menu strip at the top here we're just gonna click on file once and double click exit and now this one's the simplest code of all end so it basically closes the um, the web browser that you created so let's go check for any errors let's go to the error list down here zero errors if you don't have this button you can just go to the top here and let's play it click the start debugging and let's see if this works and yes it did it opened up in a new window now this is fully functional just expand this actually it's a bit small it's not for full screen it's just for that so let's uh... just go for a google search here we'll just do test see if everything works let's click the back button brings us back to the home page forward brings us back there stop it's sort of self explanatory home It'll bring us, for me, I think it's Sympatigo, uh, the homepage for Sympatigo. Let's just see that. Wait for it to load. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that works. And let's try out the URL bar. So we'll go, you know what, you don't even need that. www. Um, see, actually, you know what, just go to uh, google.ca. It's way faster to load. And click go and it works so there you have it this is a fully functional web browser that you just created so you can go to several like uh, there's no limitations the web browser basically the white page here that we inserted is what uh, we're using basically uh, that's where it displays the web page that other people have created so this works after you're done that you can either go to build and then build web browser one or publish it or you can just save the Visual Basic project if you want to work on it some more after. So I hope you enjoyed this short tu actually no, this tutorial on Visual Basic, how to download it, and how to script your own very own web browser. So this is the first in a series. In the next one, I'll be showing you how to create a calculator and several other interesting things that you might find uh, very useful on your computer. So if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.